At the outset, I want to thank you for the opportunity. My name is Ramesh Venkatesa Paramal. I am a graduate student at York University School of Nursing. My research is on uh, internationally educated nurses. Me being one of them, uh, I am an IEN. We came into this country a few years ago and I went through the, the usual challenges that any internationally educated professional faces in this country. So uh, I actually wanted to help the internationally educated nurses in whatever way possible. So the research is focusing on mentorship and social support uh, that will enable internationally educated nurses to thrive in their profession. When I came into this country, it took me a few years to uh, get my license and to start practicing as a registered nurse in this country. Now, getting a license was a bit of a struggle because you know you need to get your credentials assessed and then uh, get the Canadian equivalency and then start the process. I did all that and after that I thought yes the struggles are over and I'm going to get into the workforce and then start working. But when I went into the workforce and I, I realized that there are other challenges that I need to work on. For example, uh, you know, I always tell the story when I came into this country, I went to Tim Hortons, asked for a cup of coffee. They asked me, how do you take it? I said, I take it in a cup and drink it because I did not know there's a double, double or triple, triple, uh, you know, that kind of uh, coffee order. So, so the point was to actually understand the nuances of communication and nuances that exist in the healthcare system uh, it took me a little while and i thought if there was a mentor available i would have uh, uh, you know you know it would have been easy for me to overcome those challenges and i would have been able to actually uh, uh, thrive in the profession i mean it took me some more time so i thought if mentorship and social support is provided to the internationally educated nurses, they would do really well in their profession. I'm actually comparing the mentorship and social support that is available to internationally educated nurses versus what is available to Canadian educated nurses. And obviously, Canadian educated nurses have got their uh, social support networks that have been established already. Uh, and uh, the interesting finding of the study is that internationally educated nurses always feel that, that their, their quality of life is kind of better after coming here in spite of the imbalances in the supports that are available to them. I think currently the healthcare system is facing a crisis of shortage of nurses because many of the nurses are leaving the profession and we have a wealth of uh, resources and skill set that is kind of underutilized, you know, internationally educated nurses waiting to be integrated into the profession. So, so my study would, you know, the findings of my study would shed light on the value of establishing mentorship programs and social supports uh, networks at workplaces, which will actually enable internationally educated nurses to do well in the profession, as well as they're going to be staying there permanently. Usually internationally educated nurses, when they get into a, a, an organization, they stay longer than the others. So this will definitely help them to, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to thrive in the profession and also contribute to the healthcare system that is kind of facing a crisis now.